Hello guys, it's Johnny Time and welcome to another DeFi tutorial. Today we'll see how MEV bots, maximal extractable value bots, are making millions and millions of dollars doing a lot of kind of front-running attacks, sandwich attacks, arbitrage bots, and we will learn in this tutorial how to track them, how to see what they are doing and track them and maybe eventually learning from them and implementing your own bots yourself. So this tutorial is gonna be research type of tutorials we're not gonna learn how to write code or how to create an MEV port but we're gonna learn on chain tracking see how these bots are making money and how much money they make using an amazing tool that I just stumbled upon so it's gonna be super interesting and exciting and make sure to subscribe for more content now without further ado let's get started So I stumbled upon this kind of a Twitter page, iGen Feed MEV, and it's they have a tool, an amazing tool. It looks like this, and it basically gets collects a lot of on-chain data from Ethereum or BNB chain, and it aggregates all the data into nice diagrams, charts, and data regarding MEV. MEV are basically bots that maximize their mining capabilities or validation capabilities in order to extract the maximum possible value for every block. How they do it? They use that access AMMs, different techniques like sandwich attacks, liquidations, lending, flash loans in order to win uh, some trades and earn money. And this website just shows it perfectly. And if we change it for 30 days over here in the general overview, you can see that they make like thousands of dollars every single day, 275, 71K. 106k so they make thousands of dollars every day and this website is gonna aggregate it all and show it how it works and we're gonna explore this website to see what we can learn about these kind of bots that are making like ridiculously amounts of money and here is basically the leaderboard so you can see who are the most successful MEV contracts you can see we have a contract with 26,000 percent in 30 days this is insane guys his profit is four thousand dollars not that much and on the other side we have this contract that made profit of 230k in 30 days 7.5k percent in one month this is insanely returns that we won't see in any other places and they're only available due to mev and cryptocurrencies and blockchains and DeFi. and this is the profit leaderboard which is very interesting and here this is the section that i actually like this is the live stream section they have also a dedicated page for this where it show you real real time how mev bots are bots DeFi bots are exploiting arbitrages and gaps in the markets or users who are willing to pay higher prices for their tokens and they sandwich them or they do arbitrage or they do liquidations you can also search by categories sandwich liquidation landing and flash loan but this is just kind of overview real-time live MEV that happens right now on Ethereum can change also to BNB. You can see the profit, the cost, the revenue, and it's super, super interesting. This is the type. You see, this is one is arbitrage, arbitrage, sandwich, arbitrage, arbitrage. Very, very interesting. Before we jump into single arbitrage or sandwich attack transaction, I want to explain just in a short time the definition. So a sandwich attack is basically when you exploit the fact that user is putting high price impact and you are front running him, which means that you know, you scan the mempool of the blockchain and you see that he's gonna buy this kind of token and you know that he's willing to pay higher price. So you buy before him. So if his transaction will be in the middle of the block, you have a buy transaction before the user and and then he gonna buy it in higher price because you bought it before. Similar like the stock market, like Fortnite in the stock market. Now, after he bought, you're gonna sell it on the same block, but later on. So he's in the middle, he's sandwich, and he got sandwich and he paid worse price and you you got money on the same block. You didn't have to risk anything. And if you wanna learn more about sandwich attacks, check out my other tutorial about sandwich attack. I'll put link in the description below or just search for sandwich attack, Johnny time on YouTube. You will find it very easily. 
Liquidation is another cool thing. It's uh, regarding all these kind of lending protocols like Compound, Aave, and all the kind of forks that they have in Binance Smart Chain, where people uh, deposit and borrow money on their collateral. And once they go under collateral, which means that the asset that they borrowed goes high too much compared to the asset that they deposit their collateral, they are basically, they can be liquidated. Now, who does these liquidations? Yes, you're absolutely right. The MEV bots, the protocol cannot liquidate users because it's just smart contracts. You need to send transactions in order to liquidate users. That's why MEV comes in. That's how MEV comes in. And there are people who take advantage of this kind of liquidation feature to liquidate these people. So if they go under collateral, they buy their, they, they debt and they pay for it and then they make profit. So this is liquidations and you have lending and flash loans. This is just some kind of overview, but if you want to learn more in depth, all these kind of things, make sure to subscribe and check my other tutorials like sandwich attacks, liquidations, and other interesting tutorials. Now, let's go into single transaction where an MEV bot made profit and try to analyze it. You can simply click on every single one. For example, you can see right now someone made $106 profits, zero risk in single transaction. This is quite incredible um, but instead of analyzing this one let's analyze another arbitrage transaction which is much simpler to grasp so you can see here this is the transaction page arbitrage you can see it's arbitrage transaction you can see that it, the type of the mev is arbitrage it's on the sandwich or liquidation it's just simple arbitrage between different decentralized exchanges the time the hash from the contract usually arbitrage transactions are implemented by smart contracts because you need to make it an atomic arbitrage so you need to make all the all the actions on one transactions you cannot make different transactions because you won't be sure that you will be profitable that's why usually the mev bots that are doing arbitrage are implementing it by writing smart contracts that has all the logic inside now you can see here that the profit is 95 dollars the cost of the transaction probably transaction fees was around ten dollars and the revenue the total revenue is 106 now if you go down there is, there is the token flow chart where you, can, where you can see what kind of tokens were involved and how the token flows happen you can see that there was an x fund token and the user the, the bot the arbitrager bought 2.13 x fund token for 2.919 ETH where he bought it in Uniswap V2. And you can also go and open a new tab on this page. And then you can see the pair, the X Fund ETH pair on a Uniswap. You can also click here and see it on Etherscan. And you can see it's a traditional Uniswap V2 X Fund with ETH pair. And this pair has some kind of liquidity. And obviously they use, they bought, he bought the X Fund on Uniswap because you can see there is a plus 2.13 X Fund and minus 2.9 ETH. Then he sold this X fund for 2.99 ETH. So he made 0 0.09 ETH, which is around $95 on the same block. This is same transaction, same block. This is insane. Where he sold this X fund tokens? In ShibaSwap. Okay, you can see this is another liquidity pool of X fund ETH. In ShibaSwap, you can also open the contract, the pair contract on Etherscan. It's, it's a fork. It's called Uniswap V2 pair because ShibaSwap forked the smart corners of Uniswap V2. But this is ShibaSwap, the exact same token. So he simply exploded a gap between Uniswap and ShibaSwap. He bought the, the X fund token on Uniswap and sold it in shiba swap on the same transaction for profit and he made 95 dollars which is super interesting now remember guys he made this 95 dollars with zero risk he, it's it's on the same transaction he made 0.06 ETH. you see here the profit over here 0.06 he just printed it out of nowhere now imagine he has multiple transactions like day uh, a day and he made like tons of money so it's it's insane low risk but of course you need to be competitive you need to be fast you need to have good strategy good algorithm and obviously you need to be a miner so you can include your transactions as fast as possible and now going back to this kind of crazy mev bot that made in the last 30 day a quarter million dollar we want to see how much he earns every day so let's get into his page and this is the contract portfolio and let's see the trading profit so we can see that it's not very stable there is some days that this poor guy 
makes like $800 and on other days it makes $13,000 a day. And this is bear market, guys. This is where like all the tokens are getting crushed. But once you're doing arbitrage, you don't care about the token price because you're basically exploiting the volatility in the market and that's what he's doing. So you can see 700 days, 800 days, $800, 700, 700, and you can have one day with $8,000. In, in it's like only 13 transactions it's insane 6,000 and this 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 dude makes like tons of money 10k 10k 5k 8k and this is meanwhile the market is not that volatile so I can just imagine how much he makes when the market is more volatile and this is quite incredible and you can see like wow it's 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 inspiring so this is the iGen fee or how the hell you name this website is it lets you track this kind of arbitrages now obviously you can go into more depth tracking see their smart contract or interest or either either scan see what kind of transactions they are doing try to replicate their behavior maybe and try to gain similar returns i hope this guide was beneficial for you and if you have any questions make sure to ask them in the comments below if you have more ideas of interesting videos that you want me to make also feel free to suggest in the comment section and please leave a like if you enjoyed this video and subscribe for more awesome videos thank you so much and i will see you in the next videos bye bye